Welcome to Lesson 9 in Unit 21, From Sun to Food. In the previous lesson, students figured out that energy from the sun is transferred from the sun to food, and living things use that energy in food to move and grow. They learned that there are different roles in an ecosystem. In this lesson, students analyze the data from their decomposition experiment, read texts, and watch videos about decomposers. Students figure out that decomposers break down dead organisms and use the energy and matter from those organisms to live, move, and grow. Decomposers help cycle nutrients and other matter back into the soil and air. This lesson is approximately three days. Before this lesson begins, have ready the plant decomposition experiment results from lesson four. The images shown here are sample results that have been left out for 18 days. Notice that only the cup with lettuce plus soil allowed the plant to turn brownish black and break down. With the water cup, the lettuce became soggy and saturated with water, but it did not turn brownish black like the soil cup lettuce did. The plain lettuce shriveled because it lost water, but it did not turn brownish black. This shows students that part of the soil is made up of dead, broken down plants and animals. The lettuce has begun to look like the soil in the cup on the left. You may have taken pictures of the cups already and can use those images for this lesson. In the Engage portion of this lesson, students will discuss the data their groups collected during the plant decomposition experiment in lesson four. By this point, Students should be able to observe significant decomposition in the cup with soil. Even the cups with water and just the plant matter could be breaking down. Have students talk about what they observed happen to these items and push them to try and explain this observed phenomenon. In the explore portion of this lesson, as a class, students can view other examples of decomposition over time. After watching the videos and looking at their own first-hand decomposition observations, discuss these questions with students as a large group. If no one notes that they observe disappearing plant matter in their cups, ask them if anyone noticed that through the course of the experiment, why they thought that happened. Consider using talk move strategies to allow students to think, pair, share. Ask students if they notice any patterns in common among their own data and the video data. Students might notice that they have fuzzy white stuff growing on them in the video and that all of the plant matter seems to be turning brown like the soil. In the explained portion of this lesson, read the book A Log's Life to the class. See teacher page 20 for a read aloud guide with helpful suggestions and probing questions to guide class learning. After reading, ask students to share if they have ever seen a dead tree rotting. Can they now explain what was happening to that tree? 
Students may not have experience with a dead tree, but they may have seen a dead bird, squirrel, or possum at some point. Can they explain what is happening to that organism based on what they've read in the book? You will ask students these questions again after watching the videos coming up in this explained portion. Next, ask students, were bacteria, fungus, or waste mentioned in this book? Were they part of the decomposition? Allow students to think, pair, share, or turn and talk to a partner. Continue this line of questioning and ask the students, what happened to the tree? Is it still alive? What happened to the matter or mass of the tree? Where did the matter go? What kinds of evidence can you use to back up your claim about what happened to the matter? Allow students to continue their think, pair, share, or turn and talk. If time permits, you can also finish reading Pass the Energy, Please, which was started in an earlier lesson. See Read Aloud Guide on Teacher Page 21 for guidance on pages 24 through 30 of this book. Next, watch the following video that shows how decomposers help other organisms. This video from PBS Nova about decomposers should answer any remaining questions students have about the decomposition process. After this video, students should be able to answer these questions about decomposers. Students may respond that decomposer examples include fungi, bacteria, and earthworms. Decomposers also enrich the soil by returning nutrients to it, which helps new plants grow. At this point, students should be able to say that the fuzzy white stuff that may have been grown during their experiment is likely fungi or mold. Before watching the next video, ask students, what happens to the fall leaves by the next spring? Allow students to turn and talk. View this brief video from the University of Wyoming that shows what happens to fall leaves over the course of a year. Here are some additional videos students can watch for more information about soil composition and the important role that worms play in decomposition. These might also help to reinforce concepts that have come up throughout this unit. In the elaborate portion of this lesson, ask students to take out their pizza farm models and refine them further. Students should now be able to add decomposers to their farm, drawing matter and energy arrows going to and from the decomposers as they break down dead things on the farm. They should know from what they have learned in this lesson that carbon dioxide comes out of the decomposers and goes to the plants. You may want to give students time to give peer feedback on their models using a gallery walk strategy and post-its. At this point in the unit, if you have not already, revisit some of the original questions students have been posing throughout the unit. Can any of these questions now be explained using what they have figured out throughout this lesson? Allow students time to discuss these questions. In the evaluate portion of this lesson, have students complete the decomposition student page. When students are finished writing, have them turn and talk, then share a few answers to the whole class. Guidance is provided on teacher page 22, shown here. Next, revisit the original phenomenon posed to students. We eat pizza, which has many different ingredients. How can we explain its creation? Give students time to think, pair, share. Let them use their farm model to help them construct their explanations. You may want to use a strategy such as share trade or claim pass from STEM teaching tools. In this lesson, students analyze the data from their decomposition experiment, read texts, and watch videos about decomposers. 
Students figured out that decomposers break down dead organisms and use the energy and matter from those organisms to live, move, and grow. Decomposers help cycle nutrients and other matter back into the soil and air. By figuring these things out, they will be able to make final revisions to their pizza farm model and create efficient farm designs in the design challenge. Students will also be prepared for deeper explorations of energy and matter that will occur in middle school, where they will figure out how atoms are rearranged when organisms take in food. 